Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back with another episode of Field of Glory Kingdoms. It will actually be the start of a new scenario today as uh, we finished up the El Cid scenario playing as uh, Barcelona. So we're going to try shifting a little bit from the Iberian Peninsula and moving to England. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our scenarios here. And let's see here. It's, let's see, what is the name of this scenario? I do believe this is what, the one that we want here. Well, it's ideal for one to three players, but we're not going to play one to three players. We're going to play just as, as one player. So let's see. All of the, let's see, what is that? Engelvins. 94 to 12. Three. It's a 58 turn scenario ideal for uh, one to three players featuring France, England, the Engelvin Empire, and the HRE as the major powers. Now, I wasn't sure what HRE stood for, uh, but a subscriber told me which holy roman empire <laughs> and I was like wow okay i missed i missed that one by a lot so let's see in 11 94 a.d after an extended and involuntary stopover in germany richard the first richard one or i richard one the lion-hearted finally returned from the third crusade yeah, involuntary stopover. He was ransomed, if I remember correctly. He wasted no time in resuming the decade-long struggle of his uh, Anglovin Empire, comprised of the Kingdom of England and even more powerful holdings in Western France, against the Capetian kings who dominated Eastern France. However, an unlucky death from a crossbow bolt during a major siege placed his considerably less capable brother, John, on the throne. Ooh, John. Mm. The crafty Philip II Augustus of France exploited this mischance to the fullest. By the time of Philip's death in 1223, his wars and schemes had reduced the, uh, oh, Plan Agenet holdings in France to just a Gascony on the far southwest corner of the kingdom. So we'll do AI difficulty is balanced, and that's what we'll, we'll start. So I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. That's what we're gonna be doing right here. Is uh, the fall of the Anglewinds. Where is it? I'm gonna sit see if I can get a pronunciation so I don't mess that up anymore. As you would think it would be Anglewinds, but it's not. So uh, let's find out how to how to actually uh, oh, major and minor. Oh, I can see which one I'm going to go for. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. We'll see if we can get how do we pronounce that correctly. So Well, according to what I was able to find, pronunciation was Angevins. So, and then there was also a French pronunciation, which we didn't, we didn't go after. So let's see here. Let's see. Table cost. About that. Let's see. Fall of the Angevins. Okay, we already did, we already read that. Now we have France. Uh, we have England. Oh, at war with. Okay. Oh. 
France. I guess we can go to England here. There we go. Holy Roman Empire. Yeah. We have uh, Britain, Brittany, Brittany, okay. Scotland. Okay. Aragon. Now, greatly reduced coming off the Iberian Peninsula. We seem to recall this area last time. And uh, Navarra. Well, I think we're just going to do Scotland. I don't want to be Scottish. So, well, let's see what we have here. Ruler William the Lion. It's Christian. Catholic, Scottish, no treaties, the kingdom north of England known for its rugged terrain and warlike independent spirit of its people. Scotland developed from the uh, Pictish kingdom of Alba and from 1054 CE had managed to expand southward into uh, Lothan and didn't they make easy names back then? Uh, Strathside. I, I am not an English pronunciation. I can't pronounce these names. Uh, those of you that watch this channel understand that I am not good with, with names English. And those who knew me know I was an engineer, so I can barely spell it, much less be one. Okay, after 1066, Scottish kings opted to recognize the authority of William the Conqueror when faced by invasion, sending their heirs south as hostages. This practice led to a gradual uh, norm normalization of the royal court. Although this provoked rumbling by the high largely Gaelic Highlanders, the introduction of the feudal, yeah, feudal, not feudal, feudal system and the spread of uh, monotastic-ism led to an economic golden age in southern Scotland from 1153 to 1286. The Scottish economy in this period was dominated by pastoral arch arch architecture. Agriculture and the creation of new towns and boroughs led to more local and foreign trade. Cattle, pigs, cheeses, sheep, wool, fish, rye, barley, beeswax, and honey were among the primary traded goods produced. As well as silver from newly discovered mines in the uh, Pennies. Okay, what is this? Hybrid Island, population six stores, petty kingdom of man and the Isles of Northern Torch Garrison, six units. And, okay, that's context. Gameplay. To begin with, it is crucial to ensure that your treasury is not losing an excessive amount of money, okay? as this can severely limit your options. Take stock of your regions and, ask, and assess whether any buildings are worth the cost. Know also that kingdoms randomize the regions with different buildings, so your initial situation will vary even for the same nation between two tribes on the same scenario. If not, consider dismantling them. If you are not under immediate threat and have exceeded your uh, routine allowance units with much reduced upkeep cost, it may be necessary to disband some units. As a temporary measure, selling regional decisions can also, oh, selling regional decisions, wow. And sell them? They didn't know that. Once your finances are in order, focus on increasing your income. Okay, well, that's what we'll do. Next, prioritize stabilizing your authority. If it is in the negative, we don't know yet, consider appointing peers of the realm as provincial governors 
uh, shedding regions through diplomacy or th with the use of regional decisions. Bear in mind that authority is challenging to gain, easy to lose, so consider constructing st structures that improve it. Keep in mind that these structures are often tier two buildings, except for permanent defensive structures, which can provide authority at the tier one level. It is also important to be mindful of your neighbors and explore opportunities to forge relations or treaties. Cooperation. The cooperation treaty is the easiest option and can improve relationships over time. Cooperation in relations. Sour. If consider becoming a vassal of a more powerful nation to secure protection. Don't rush to expand your territories. Developing your regions is the key to success. All right. Once your indicators are mostly positive and you have a capable army, which means we got to build the army, but don't use the army. Consider who might be your first target. Remember that claims are typically made against nations with whom you have poor relations, so, so you may need to relinquish some claims and insult a few people to make room for new targets. While being high in authority is desirable, it comes with drawbacks, such as losing more authority with certain actions and raising tensions with other nations. Avoid falling into the third tier of the progressive progression chart and only evolve into a new form of government when you are confident that you can maintain your authority. If in doubt, consolidate your gains, proceed with caution. While fortune may favor the bold, it also rewards prepared. Well, that sounds about the same. Okay. Late Scottish culture faction modifier. Late Scottish. Uh, bonus of 15 XPs when a unit is created. Apply only. Applies only to in infantry. Okay. Character force pool bonuses plus two. Oh, I have no idea how I'm not even going to try. Uh, or uh, the right of royal cry was a traditional act often expanded, expected of a new king of Alba since early times. It meant de raiding neighboring lands, often the southern ones in Britannica. Okay. If the dynasty age is no older than 25 years and pillaging a region of the Anglo-Saxon culture will grant plus one national authority and issue raid orders even if not a tier one civilization. Boros and tor turns from the, what is that, the 11th century? Onward, a special status has been given to select villages and towns, granting privileges such as rights to hold a fair or governance over some portions of land. Uh, dynamicism of these grants play no small part in the prosperity of medieval Scotland. Boroughs can appear spontaneously in regions of Scottish culture which lack them and can be of four sorts. Mercantile, royal, baronial, and uh, elastic. I think that means religious. Each province has unique benefits without many drawbacks to worry about. The region loyalty must be at least 75. Okay? I think that's it. Interest, difficulty. Okay, that means how difficult they are to play. They are very difficult. Aragon. Point three. Three and four. Three and five. Okay. And four and five. All in the place, Scotland. And what does it say? 
and it just tells me what we are here. So we got ports. Uh, Scottish, Scottish, uplands, what do we have here? Five units, six units, five units, and what do we have here? Here, Scottish, okay. Future towards Scotland. So the neutral torch and breach wall one of one. Minimum garrison. Garrison's a militia of five units. And he's got six units. Petty Kingdom of Man. What do we have here? It's got well it says Scottish. Hmm. Neutral towards Scotland. Neutral. No. It doesn't. There we go. Eight units. And he's neutral. Oh, okay. Well, let's play Scotland. All right. Uh, okay, we've already done all of this, so we have no reason to uh change that all right and let's see here turn one we're going to start with turn one obviously turn one and continue on so here's scotland let's all right this scenario spans uh 58 turns it can be decided as early as turn 30 if the top legacy player has doubled the points of the second player. Uh, if this ratio is not met, the winner is determined by the highest legacy points at the end of the game. Okay. Summary of situation. Under the sewer leadership of August, attempted to reclaim continental holdings of the Angavins, uh, this Old as boo, especially since Richard Lionhearted has been released from captivity by the Holy Roman Empire and is an ex ex excellent ruler as well. Alright. Scotland, Wales, and the, of Ireland also pose liabilities to the British Crown and might hinder reinforcements from reaching mainland fate. Highly uncertain with the potential for control by reliable Unreliable neighbors and allies, thus anything is on the table. Special rules in effect. France and England will gain one legacy per turn for each region they hold that was initially owned by another nation or vassal of that nation. The Holy Roman Empire will gain 10 legacies per turn for each vassal they have beyond 8 but will lose five legacies per turn for each value, for each vassal under this value. Other nations gain five legacies per turn for each claim they own. Starting in year 1198, there's a 20% chance per turn of Richard being replaced by John Lackland. When this happens, Brittany will automatically break its alliance with England Unless relations are 50 or higher. Peasants of the English player have a 10% chance per turn, if in England, to become light archers. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Okay. Oh, fog of war is an ocean. All right. What do we have here? All right. Let's see what we got here. Planned authority changes at minus. We need to change that. So we need to beginning authority. Uh, is eight requires uh, for round change of five. Max uh, size for authority gain is two. To earn progress tokens and eventually change your realm government, you must rank in the top tier of authority table when compared to other nations. High authority also reduces the risk of civil war. 
Starting with 50 authority, a non-avoidable penalty, sedition from the loyalty, will be applied to its gain. Nations with high authority, 75 plus, tend to clash against each other. Each peer of the realm in charge of a province increases the maximum size bonus. Each vassal reduces required size of the realm chance, okay? Legacy changes from control claims, one from unique structures and wonders, one. Your current ranking is two of 56 for legacy claims. Being in the top 10% uh, gives you a 5% chance to gain a progress for point. Top 53% chance. If you're in the bottom tier, this bonus will instead prevent gaining disorder tokens, okay? Regional production, intrinsic production is two, metal production total of five. Previous turn total 20. Our equipment production of 53 allows us to store at most 69 bundles of ingots fit for weapons and armor making. Metal is a resource accumulated globally, which is used most exclusively by military units for the recruitment and upkeep. If you go above your maximum cost of uh, military, 25% extra will be the cost of each turn. Okay, and regional decisions. What do we have right now? We have recruit non-standard units. Using this regional decisions, you are able to get some non-standard units from the region owner if the target region has any available on its roster. Usually, the exact unit type will be less prevalent. One in your current RB combination of uh, the amount and true intrinsic uh, worth. Non standard units are very uh, diverse and range from specialized troops to elite guards to fighting slaves and uh, brigands. This decision allows the recruitment of archers and what whatever that is must be a friendly leader in the region okay must be a friendly at least or at least one rating attack in the regions must be owned okay Closest. Now, let's see here. Claims will grant you a large amount of authority upon conquest and grant at least one legacy point per turn. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that up north, all hilly and stuff. All right. And religion. All right, we're all the same religion. Political overlay, that's what I have. Good. Overlay, a minus five. Ooh, minus five. Huh? Okay. Wondering how many legacy points they generate usually from culture and wonders. Okay. Very good overlay. Well, we put that on automatic, so. green color highly low very highly bright green color ah, okay uh, without free Isle province with a free slot dark point uh, with a free slot okay 
uh, surplus supply, alter overlay. Uh, shoulder population count and then ownership overlay faction ownership okay all right well we got that now what we have here ledger take a look at our ledger here region overview harbor yes one open slot three open slots here Okay, and Bernardo, he's got the minus four. I need to make sure my infrastructure is going up. And more A. Got a claim to here. Okay. Okay, we're looking good Green here. Let's Galloway is same. And we're looking all green here. Population. Let's look down the next structure here. Money is zero, food, manpower, metals, equipment. That's not good. Base from population, base from structures, overall regional equipment production is only four. Use from a unit, this room you can store up to 34. Stewardship. Metals check. And what money? Regional money income is zero. And infrastructure here, same. Okay. He's producing no metals. Okay. The way it seems to be. Metals, manpower is down, stewardship is down. Net regional infrastructure minus four. Net change is okay. We're going to, yeah, there's the minus 11 in money. That's what we need to do in this first off. Okay. Military. And these are all traded armies. We have here and Edinburgh. And we'll get into there in a moment. History. Okay, Scotland. You can see, okay, we're coming in lower part here. Authority. 43, definitely in the low part. Battles, we've had no battles, obviously. All right, Roman Catholic, Papal States. I think England. Oh, Scotland, good. Distance, Christian, Muslim. Okay, good. We have single religion. We have to worry about that.
I thought it showed me. I guess it doesn't. All right. And let's go to diplomacy. No request. What? Am I? Manpower, uh, intrinsic production, five manpower generation. Previous term is 50 hour equipment production, 53, which allows us to maintain at least uh, 253 musters of men ready to take arms. Manpower is a resource accumulated globally. Yes, okay, good. And now, projected money, regional commerce, population taxation, court expenses, money in regional commerce. And then right. who is it? And something or another. guys are England, England, Scotland, where is my hmm. Dunbar, population is Scottish. Ownership overlay, okay. I own this one? No, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna determine... That is culture and population, okay. Hmm. I don't seem to have... I think that's what I own right there. And this one... I go here. It must be... here. This scenario spans, okay, 30 games yet. And can't construct. All right, we have five of eight. So let's go ahead and see what's on that one. Check. Yes. 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 Perfect. And somebody's got a claim there. this one we'll look here first okay stable now stable current governors that one is sending uh, this way those in town to sending. Kingdom. 
All right, well, that's not where we're going to be at. Close that. Oh, go back to here. Authority and disorder. Okay. Sorting by faction, let's sort by authority. There we go. Okay. So now let's close that one up. Okay, back. Uh, known, previously known as Mormir or whatever. I'm just going to call William the Lion. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. All right. Uh, Dynasty Ages 7. So, overview. We have. Five authority gain of a two current kingdom found in Scotland as Edinburgh special status no domestic spot. It says special no domestic spy network. Eight regions, two domains, zero peers of the realm, no vassals, twenty-seven peasants, nobles, average loyalty is eighty-three. Realm traits. Decisions, no reports, some abilities. Let's take a look at current standing army in this two, maximum is three. Claims. Okay. In the claim of that. Right, let's go here. So now, let's show loyalty here. Unknown. Sons and daughters, age 35. How old is he? Oh, 64. 35. Loyalty is unknown. Concubine. Illustrations to me. Uh, he is one very good. 46. Unknown, 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 unknown. Unknown. He is an uncle. Still seems to be a treasure. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is make that guy peer of the realm. So I go to I want to get my finances, so probably commerce and harbors. Or can I make each one different? And let's see, peasant supreme will maybe focus here. New structure and faster building. And commerce. Right. Uh, nobles will be mostly focused on units recruiting. The rest of the population will be distributed balanced approach. You activate. Provincial level. 
Okay, this is building management, so... What we're gonna do... Now, does that change? Go here. No. Let's get... That's what we want to get money. Okay, now what? Peer of the Realm, trade details, two armies. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything with armies. To the region and diplomacy. Click to appoint a Peer of the Realm to this domain. Uh, who do I want? What's the guy's name again? I think I know what his name is, but you know, we don't want to mess that up. Uh, this guy. Francis. Administration is five. Uh, military. Well, he's going to become king, so I want to make him the peer of the realm. Okay. Close that. Right. So, I think... After all of that, kind of like last time, we want to look at authority overlay is 10. Great goods, no domains. It's, it's movement overlay loyalty. Yeah, see, we want to get him more loyal. We'll get him more loyal. All right, well, did we get our money? in control and see what happens well, let's go ahead and proceed with the turn okay all right here we have your upkeep will soar when as your army upkeep will soar when at or as standing armies have a discount if you are at peace and all units have extra discount in their own territory. All right. Hmm. I've got jump Scotland jumped way to hell up here in legacy points. 258. Wow. Where's England? Wow. Okay, we jumped up at eight here. England's stable and we're stable whatever that is, okay. Now it says France and England will gain one legacy point per turn for region they hold, which is initially owned by other nations with a vassal this okay, well we got this. As such, the changes for this turn are France gains zero extra legacy. Uh, they change 
Right here also, okay. Okay. Legacy falling behind. Leading is France. Yes, I know that, but we have plus zero here as far as authority. We got more money coming in. Uh, legacy changes are good. Plus three, plus five. Regional decisions, ledger. Catholic and diplomacy and manpower. All right. Well, I think I like that right now for under the wise rule of William of Scotland is progressing. Progress tier reached. Yes. Outstanding. Okay. Uh, let's see. Civilization level one. Christian uh, Scottish progressing. Okay. Eight. Gain up to four. Okay. Current kingdom, special status, no domestic spies. Money stable, gain 8% in one turn. Manpower overflowing, gain 38% in one turn. Okay. Metals overflowing. Okay. One. Your vassals they're okay good let's see what we have here new claim William the Lion decided the land of Lincolnshire should belong to Scotland all right Lincolnshire where is that oh quick. you're kidding me way down there Hmm. That's interesting. Well, it was an automatic. Uh, with this gesture of spiritual authority, the Papal States allocated an Episcopal Bishop to a pious clergyman from Ross. Hmm. All right. Money down. One. Money is down in Ross, okay. Minus four in Moray. Edinburgh, plus 25. Hmm, let's take a look at money. It hasn't built anything. Okay. Zippo for money here. Plus 20. There. No growth. Equipment. E. Stewardship. Metals. Zero. Okay. We're overflowing in that anyway. Six. Our number six is that place. Get my Scottish friend to tell me how to pronounce these names. All right, let's see here. No. Looks good. And this must put manpower is down. Eight. All right. So, where are my standing armies? Let's go to my ledger. Armies. 
Edinburgh, power of 48. So where is my loyalty again? There we go. All right. So, have a regional decisions. I recruit. All right, must be. Must friendly leader must be in this region. Two four provincial units. Hey, okay, how are we doing on strength? Okay. It says you have played a cost be reduced once it triggers. Right, so here, what is, why, he is English, now let's go to my people here, what's his 46? 36, let's take a look at our loyalty here. Concubine, not very loyal. Health. Eight years, minus 25%. All right, no bodyguard, huh? Claims. Starting at turn 50, claims will be phased out after 20 turns unless adjacent to one of your regions. I don't want to attack England because that'd be that'd be a good way to get wiped the hell out. I'm gonna try here. I go back to here. No growth in population. Growth in nine turns. Structure where it is my manpower. Okay, what do we have here? A light war galley? No, light round ship? No. What do we have? Right click to add the queue. Light archers. Spearmen. Give me a broad spectrum of people and we'll see how that affects we may have to disband some people but i think that's what we're going to do here let's go ahead and execute this turn Okay, 
plus 40. All right. And you're still trailing France and legacy points, but coming up quickly. And it's stable. Authority is eight. Of zero. Okay. Well, let's just take a look here. They gain no more. Good. Let's go ahead and close this up. And what do we have here? The listed talented combined, they show a variety of skills. Okay. Good. Our strongholds and place of influence within our realm are a show of might for all to see. Plus one to authority friends will gain one legacy point. Right. This guy up here, a rumor of marauders spread. Noble of Moray has taken action by ordering construction of a closed settlement to safeguard the region. Okay, good for him. And... This is safe. Okay, new claim. Whispers of William Lyons' share for a world to reach the ears of Scotland, sparkling in conflict over ownership. What do we have here? New claim. Whispers of William the Lyons' desire for Wiltshire reaches the ears of Scotland, sparking conflict of ownership. Oh. No, he's out doing stuff way out of the middle of nowhere. So we will go ahead and save. No battles this time. So we'll just do, we'll call this the, let's see, all of the Events. Right. Number one save. Okay. Okay, not overly exciting, but again, I'm playing um uh, dynasties or leaders of places that um uh, are not the top dogs or the big big like most people would probably grab and play england and some would not see now we're up to 76 plus this 11. so we may nine units we may next time attempt here take this and that and there's got to be a reason why we would take it and we'll well like i say We'll take a look at all that next time. So let's go ahead and return to the main menu. Check. Uh, we'll take a look at everything that we might do next time. Uh, we've moved along a number of uh, turn or well, two turns, and we just executed uh, our second, so we're in turn three technically, and we will see what happens. It's a empire building, so you make decisions, and it, it, I have a lot of the stuff that's done automatically. But I'm still telling it which automatic ones to pay more attention to. So I'll make sure we, we stay uh, money-wise as opposed to uh, being hugely negative like I've experienced before. So leave a like or leave a comment. We'll be back again next week with another episode of Field of Glory Kingdoms. So, as always, I am Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time. <laughs>